something just fell in the other room. I better go check that first. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. Back last August, we hired a contractor to help us um, combine two rooms into my studio. I've been talking about it. You guys have seen bits and pieces, but I'm finally gonna take you on a tour, so let's do it. Are you ready? And I said to John the other day, I need to clean this up so I can tour it, but then I decided it'd probably be better if I just truly showed it to you the way it really is. <laughs> It's a rectangular room. These stairs come down from our living room and I'm gonna just start like at the stairs and go around the room and show you everything in here. All right, we're gonna start from the foot of the stairs and there's my buddy. So you kind of walk into the middle of the room. This is the half that you see more frequently, although you are seeing the whole thing. We're just gonna go around really fast and then I'll take you around through it. I'm gonna go in detail. I mean, it's a good size, I'm not complaining, trust me, but I think it actually looks bigger like in videos than it really is. The very first thing to the right of the stairs when you come all the way down is this humongous shelf. I think it was like seven feet tall, I can't remember how long, 10 maybe? Eight or 10 feet wide. And it just basically is holding this is a lot of bear yarn and some bear fiber for dyeing for the shop and then the rest is, is my personal stash of yarn mostly there is a little bit of yarn in the upstairs closet from the old studio that i haven't moved down yet but not much and next is the cube wall i call it it is full of fiber and hand spun so and that's it There are actually a few baskets that are empty on this cube wall, but I mean, I go all the way to the ceiling. I believe in vertical storage. These three cubes, so I'm starting at the top. This has leftover hand spun from projects that I just can't quite bear to put away yet. And then these three cubes, um, vertical ones, are all my hand spun that are like singles. I also have a few hand spun sweaters that are put away, but I mean, sweaters quantities. So that's all hand spun. I like to keep it so I can see it, so I can pick from it if I'm gonna make something. But everything else is just fiber for bats and just to spin and everything. And that is the honorific place where the um paradise bag that is going to be the prize is that's its new home next this is not in use anymore before anybody says that's so unsafe putting stuff around it yeah i know we we don't even worry we're not using it but we can heat our entire house with this it's just really messy and it makes it so 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 dry in the house that we haven't done it for a few years so i don't know if you're in another country you probably don't even know what i'm talking about but you can heat your whole house, this whole house, with this wood stove, we just don't. But between the cube wall and the wood stove, I have some weaving stuff. There are like my my original warping bar, some dowels that I use sometimes. Um, let's see, what else is over here? Mylar. And then behind the cube wall, you can see those are a couple studio lights sticking out. It's like there's a shelf that goes all the way around the room and it's the perfect place to hide things that, you know, they're big and weird and bulky, but I don't know where to put them. Right next to it on this side, this is the door sit down in the Sox Travaganza kits. And John put up this for me. I had it in my old studio and it has braids that are in my shop on Etsy. And then I, you can see I still have a lot of room. I've been real busy. And I, right now I'm keeping my um, Nitty Naughty up there, my janky PVC Nitty Naughty, which I love. And there is my blending board right under the window i have my carding table i'm sure a lot of you will recognize it okay so let me tell you my mom bought a house that she used as a rental and that we found this dresser in the attic i took it home painted it and it used to be it was like in the dining room of the house that i lived in at the time and i mean it's been through multiple 
uses John put locking casters on it and I just can move it around really easily it's so awesome that way check this out like with one hand I can just move this whole table around it's so nice there are all tools inside hang on hopefully this won't be too dark but this is like a whole bunch of my carding tools and then these are heddles for my rigid heddle loom they're right in the front this is a heddle for dolly my floor loom that i haven't even taken out of the plastic yet but there's just all kinds of stuff that i use oh actually this is a loom accessory too so this is mostly stuff i use for carding and um winding and stuff like that oh so i actually have empty space in here i use these um these are non-static it's like a big long tube that you can use for a bag i use it for bats sometimes and then i have a couple more heddles and shuttles up front these long drawers are perfect for that and then up here are my combs and the little comb holder that holds it still and empty and in this bottom drawer I have what I call add-ins so it's like silk bamboo things like that that I sometimes dye and add into bats you can see sorry silk fluff it says right on the top so all kinds of stuff that you might want to add into a bat is right here and of course my two carters which do not have names which is kind of weird right because I name everything this is my brother extra large motorized drum carter it makes the a giant bat and then this is my Strouch finest I will never get rid of this carter I just think it is so good Otto Strouch is a doggone genius next right in the middle of this area so let me get back a little and show you how this actually works John built me this we bought this dresser for our old basement um, off of, I don't know, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, something. And I poured the front of the drawers just for fun, just to see how they would come out. I actually do love them. I have never decided still uh, if I'm going to paint the outside of the dresser. But I did two small dressers that we weren't using really anymore and we were just storing in the house. He put them on this cart back to back and this dresser on this side is quite a bit smaller so I had a little platform space and he was like how about if I put a trash can there that we can it's attached with that bungee and it's so great because I ship from here so I always have like the bags of labels and all those things to throw away it's just awesome to have it right there and there's a little space in between you can see and I keep my cutting mats there and some poster board and stuff. And then normally my Swift hangs right here, but it's attached to the table right now. You'll see in a sec. So this one is one that I use every day and it always has my ongoing like projecty stuff. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing right now. Um, these are all braids that need to go in the shop. I've been winding some stuff so this is still attached like this table just gets all so much use these are some kits and some stuff that's going out in Etsy orders today and these are going in the shop these um, sock hanks all four of these are going in the shop so this is like ongoing stuff that I really need to get done and right there is the rainbow towel draft I'm working on. And like I said, my Swift is attached to the table. So basically there's a bill, you can't quite see it, that I need to get paid for business stuff today. So you can't quite see it, but that's what's in there. And let me quick show you what's in the drawers. That's what I really like about this table is he made it like with the storage and everything. And you can just move it so easily all around, but it has these great big locking casters. I can lock it and it will not move. I've actually leaned against it and tried to move it. They're awesome. Um, down here, underneath this little dresser, wait, maybe I should show you the whole dresser. Hang on. So I poured this one first, wasn't as happy with the colors, but I don't mind it, to be honest. I kind of grew on me. Underneath, I have some storage for shipping supplies and warping bar stuff. This is stuff that I use when I'm shipping Etsy orders. So my thank you notes, all my stickers, um, tape, scissors, all this stuff is like Etsy order stuff. This drawer has some kind of odds and ends. I don't know if you guys know this, but sometimes I do myself and John little t-shirts like with my Cricut and stuff. I'm not, I don't sell them. Um, I'm not really like a great designer at that, but sometimes I do. So I keep like blanks in here for shirts 
those are John's, those are for me. And then this is some hardware for warping bars. Woohoo! And here's an empty drawer. I love it. All right, now we're gonna do this side. This side is mostly empty. I have some plastic bags in here that I store. And then also, I these Christmas ornaments I bought last year. And I think I'm gonna put like yarn, hand spun samples or something in them for Christmas. I just thought it'd be fun. And that's a little bit of my paper crafting stuff that doesn't really have a better home yet. And I think these are empty. This is the second drawer, completely empty and with some nice bubbled up shelf liner in it. That's annoying, I better fix it. Okay, and the bottom, I forgot, has some like overflow sewing supplies. So I cut on this table a lot. So I threw my rotary cutter in, you can see it down in the bottom right and then it's like stabilizers those kinds of things i just i'm overflowing the space that i had before and i think this is an adhesive yeah oh no this is glitter blast spray paint not supposed to be in here okay and it looks like there's a couple patterns and things in there so that takes us through the whole right half of the room this is the chair that john moves over and sits with me sometimes with this is a file cabinet that came with the big desk you'll see in a sec and it's just full of shipping supplies like I don't know if people even care about this but when I order something and it comes with packing paper or bubble wrap I save it and use it in my own orders because I just cannot bear to throw all that stuff away Let's see this is my little table sometimes you can see it in videos usually I keep my up my next project for spinning in this little bin that I kind of hide in the back and I have these roll legs but things keep getting in front of them I hope I get them done soon because I love them and then this one is you guys probably have seen it my current sweater project the infamous slash famous plank wall John put this in Oh, it's got lights, hang on. So he, yeah, see there's like a little recess thing and he put those lights in for me. This whole half, starting next to this door, used to be a guest bedroom and we opened it all up for the studio. That's what we were doing, I guess it was in August we started. Yeah, this used to be a guest room that we never used. We probably used it like three times since we moved into this house and we figured better to be used every single day. Why do we have that space that just sits there empty all the time? So that's what this half is. And the first half was like an entryway. It was a weird entryway. I'll show you the closet, I said I would. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so this holds inventory for the shop mostly. Not mostly, this is inventory for the shop. It's just like tons and tons of wool. <laughs> Maybe you can see that. I can still fit more in though, so don't worry. And honestly, I'm starting to feel like warehouse spaces in my future. Um, I'm working on some more Sox Travaganza kits, so I have the one of the breeds in this bag hanging here. Those are tubes that I use to ship sometimes. This is my glam box, John calls it. It actually, it's painted rose gold, and then for some reason, it always looks splotchy on film, but in person, it's just the glitter making splotches, and you cannot see them in person. It's weird. But we bought this at Harbor Freight for a really, really cheap deal, and he painted it for me. I sometimes like make heat transfer stuff, so this is my heat press. This is my Silhouette Cameo. One or two of you guys have noticed that before. I really like it. Some more of those um, Sox Travaganza samples. And then this is stuff for that. So like all the heat transfer and the mats for the cutting machine and stuff are in this drawer. It feels like it makes sense, right? I'll keep it all in one place. Um, in the glam box, I haven't, I haven't really done a good job of organizing the bottom of the glam box yet. Those are transfer tape that also go with the cutting machines, but this is extra like tech equipment-y stuff. This stuff goes with the heat press because it'll do more things. Oh, and this is some sewing stuff. So this is all my interchangeable needles. And then I have sewing stuff. We're about to kind of hit a sewing area. So that's an extra curtain. This is some material that I'm supposed to be making curtains out of that I haven't done anything with yet but we're kind of hitting the sewing part of the room, so. First, let me say all of this up here is 
wool and spinning fiber. I have a bunch of um, like mill ends and odds and ends up here in this tub that I use for bats sometimes. And then at the end you can see there is some bubble wrap. So the desk, the infamous mess of a desk. Um, there are, I added these obviously, they used to be in the closet with the carding table. And then I have my sewing machine, my crickets back here, which I don't really use as much. I like the silhouette a lot better. And um, we bought this little thing for like $3, but it's awesome for holding memory cards and extra batteries and all that kind of stuff. I've been using this as a pin cushion. This little thing that I felted last year, it's perfect for a pin cushion. This is a project I'm working on, I can't show you. <laughs> Um, hopefully soon it'll be out there, but I'm scared to show you because I'm also scared to get it going. I'm just, it's terrifying sometimes putting yourself out there. This is all just fabric for sewing. I hardly ever sew. I don't know why I buy fabric, but whatever I do. So then this little thing, oh gosh, I always mean to show you this and I never do. Um, this just is holding like a pin cushion, some extra yarn bowls and stuff. Yarn bowls, FLD mug, so cute. Pin cushions, again, it's all sewing stuff, but I always mean to show you this and I don't know why I never have. Years ago, I was looking for storage for double pointed needles because I love them and I buy tons of them because I lose them a lot. I was looking on Amazon and a colored pencil storage thing for like teachers came up. It is perfect for this. I'll link it actually because I bet I'm not the only one that can use this. So I actually use my label maker and I put the size that's in each little thing inside because I think it looks prettier, you know, while they're inside. I pretty much know by heart like what's in what drawer. But also there's an extra drawer in the five drawer. You can buy different numbers of drawers. So I this holds like all kinds of notions. So stitch markers, needle gauges, you can see needle gauge here, little tiny scissors, and a couple of needles that didn't fit. I don't know why I put all my notions in the fourth drawer, but I did. So that's that. And then back here, every single Paradise sticker I've ever gotten, because I love them. These are knitting bags, project bags. This is the current Sox Travaganza project. I'm just keeping it all in one place so that at the end we can like recap. Long story short, I have always intended to continue to wash the wash only sample every week when I wash the next one so that we can get multiple washes. Um, so that's the plan. I'm keeping it all in one place so that we have it. This holds some weird odds and ends, I don't know. Things I need sometimes. Okay, so here's my desk chair with all these towels that need to get in my shop. In fact, these should move to the big table. This is my embroidery machine. <laughs> you can tell I haven't used it in a while. More of the Sox Travaganza samples. I'm assembling kits right now. Um, that is ooh, another project that I hope to have done in November. I picked out a thread to go with it for some embroidery. You guys will see it later. This is where I save all my embroidery threads to card into bats later, that's crazy I know. Um, these are dish towels to embroider, these are my hoops, and this is a paper cutter, this thing's basically empty, just so many random things, right? These are those little clips that I use to hold things when I sew. Okay, so there's some overflow in here, additional stickers, this is my favorite little tub full of weird pens and markers and stuff. And then there's also a knitted mug full of pencils in the back. Extra packing tape, Jessica, pardon her outfit. I have cut out some clothes for her, but I haven't finished sewing them yet. This is my label printer and my little scale, my um, cuddle bug. I still have the really old one that they don't even make anymore, but it works for me. I don't really care about, you know, replacing something that's still working well. Markers, um, ribbon that's supposed to go on a wreath that John was going to cut out for me and hasn't had time to. One of the things that I have to do is keep things all in one place. So this is like a million scissors for sewing, embroidery needles, um, what do you call it? Adhesive spray for the embroidery machine. 
Oh, these are the friction pens that disappear. Bobbins for my embroidery machine. These little clips I use sometimes. I don't even know what you would call them. But And then fishing lines, sometimes I use that for my Hanson. This is all stable stabilizers for embroidery. Makes sense because this is right under my embroidery machine. I try to organize stuff that way. You can't always. And then these are blank. So I have dish towels, little bags, just tons of stuff that I use, like to use when I embroider and some sewing thread that I didn't have any place to put. Those are my neutrals. Over here are, is my printer and my all my paper. I, I know it's ridiculous I have that much paper, isn't it? And then this is some, sh oops. I have an Epson printer. You guys, if you don't have one, you can fill the little tanks over and over with these and it's so much better for the environment and cheaper than the HP printers. I love it so much. This is all packing stuff and those are pegs for the warping bar. Okay, so that is everything on the desk. It's a lot, right? I bought these for storage and to make the lower table. This one's actually in height, it's lower. You can see that one's pretty tall. So this one is the one that's right in front of me when I'm like talking to you guys usually. It's not full, but it mostly has paper crafting stuff in it. So markers, I've, show, I've showed you guys the glitter drawer. Gel pens, glitter drawer. There's still room in there. Can I point that out? There's still plenty of room in the glitter drawer up front. Um, ink, washi tape, glitter washi tape. That's like the flocked, and what do you call it? Um, embossing stuff. There's some chalks in here. Oh, these are blanks for the kids. So at Clark's Giving, I'll get these out so they can paint them, have fun with them. These are some like, you know, frosted sprays, like glitter sprays and stuff. That's fun. Some embellishments, rando stuff. Empty. I love empty drawers. Um, this one has like some cutter things and some more washi tape. And then my bracelets, you guys have seen them. And then I have a whole bunch of little notebooks that I like to keep right in the top drawer in my candle lighter and baby wipes for stamping. I don't stamp that much anymore. This is all adhesives and tape. These are the markers that are for everyone to use. So when the kids are here and they wanna like write or draw or whatever, I know exactly where to grab the colored pens and the markers that are for everybody. These are all those like pattern scissors, you know, the ones, remember these? I can't throw them away, I can't make myself. And then my watercolor paints, they're nothing fancy, just cheapies. Those are oil pastels that I don't use very often, but when you want them, you, nothing else will work. Uh, this is stuff that, for making like lip balm and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's business papers for 2021. After I pay that bill, it'll go right in that drawer. And then, oh my gosh, all right. Embossing stuff, glitter, um, like glitter glues. What do you call this again? One of you guys will know. Stickles, I only have a few of those. My heating, my heat tool for embossing. These are punches. They're the Martha Stewart ones and they're so good. I just can't stand to throw them away. Punches, and some of them were my sister's. A couple punches, but empty. I bet the rest is empty. Yep. And then over here, these are ink pads. A lot of them are probably dried up. I just haven't gone through them in a while. More ink pads. How crazy am I? These were my Christmas cards last year, and I had some extras, so I kept them. They'll probably go out, I don't know, next year. I won't send them back to back. And some more just like stamping and paper craft tools. And then for, I don't know why, but my armor etch is in here. More paper tools, stamping stuff. Um, and a little more stamping stuff. This is like a jig for stamping and some like random things that I cut and stamped and never used. So I can do it later. Um, almost empty, empty, empty. We're almost done. So when I'm sitting at the plank wall, this is really what I can see. 
and this is my setup for going live <laughs> but I also watch TV in here sometimes when I'm like spinning for a video the TV will be going and um, that's my laptop that little thing holds a bunch of like cords and just all kinds of stuff like my webcam stuff that I need when I go live my ring light one of my favorite tripods I have favorite tripods yes that's weird and all this stuff sits in front of another drawer section. I seriously considered adding them even higher, but um, haven't done that. So I'm gonna move them, I'll take you through the drawers fast. This is the Mystical Lanterns blanket I'm working on. And underneath is all leftover sock yarns that are going into the blanket. I have so many scrappy patterns that I wanna work on. And like, this is full. Let me show you how big it is. I got these at Target, just in case you're wondering. Because they're knitted. Isn't that cute? It is full of leftover sock yarns. And then in this one, I store extra bobbins for wheels. So extra bobbins, storage bobbins. I think there's an extra flyer in, for the match list down in here. But then I know where to find them all at once, which I love. Um, this is my warping mill. It'll be in a video very soon. And then in here there is some paint stuff. I used to do some oil painting and I still have all my stuff. I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but I can't bear to throw it out yet. Oh god, that one's empty. My embroidery threads are in here. I have a few colors and the bigger things that I use a lot. Empty. Is this all empty for real? No. These are the ones for the bobbins. They're a different weight, and this is just a box for my holder. But I think all the rest of these might be empty. <gasps> Yay! Those are the big ones, and they're empty. I still have paper for those, though. And then these might... Oh, no, they're not all empty. So then I have paper. I told you guys I do paper crafting, too. So this is, this is how my brain works. Textured paper. Um, this is plain paper, like plain colors. This is holiday pattern paper. Uh, this is all pattern paper, so some of it is holiday, but not all of it. Oh, this one's empty, I love it. Okay, now we're on the last one. This is the end for real. Okay, so this one holds some um, embossing stuff. I probably should move this, huh? And then cards that I, if I buy cards already like cut out and measured and pre whatever scored and envelopes. Um, this is an overflow of envelopes and then we're getting to stamps. Like I said, I don't really stamp a lot anymore, but this is stamps as well. You can see there's like big ones in here and then all kinds of littler stamps in there. These are um, like stickers and embellishments. See those paper ones? And then these are some kits I just bought at a garage sale. They were like $1.25 each. They're literally completely ready to put together. I just haven't done anything with them. These are smaller stacks and more of the like patterned ones. Buggies. These are um, scraps. Scraps and smaller pieces. This is just a place I come to look if I'm looking for something specific that's going to be smaller. Plain colored paper. Oh, and this is my stamp maker, which I never really got to work, but I can't stand to throw away. So, and it's got all the like refills for it. And I told you guys I would show you what isn't done yet and this is really why i haven't done the video so the wall that separated these two rooms was under this beam right here and they came in and built you can see it some they put a new beam in because it was actually two smaller ones or sorry the wall was holding up part of it and then there was a beam a small beam over here they took the small beam out took the wall out and put a big beam that goes the whole length and then supported it here and then they supported it at this end on the header over the door with like the special hanging 
whatever you call them, I don't know. John put the drywall up, but we haven't gone any further on the ceiling. So that's not done yet. But the plan is to have a shelf all the way across here so that I can store more stuff for the shop there and on both sides. I'm not sure what color to paint in here. So that's why I haven't painted yet. I have a really hard time committing to a color because colors mean a lot to me. I don't know how to explain that, but it's they mean a lot to me. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I feel so lucky to have all this space now. And I mean, as crafters, we know that we're always thinking, oh gosh, I wish I had more space. I wish I had more space. But you saw all those empty drawers. I have space still. And I don't know, I guess on to our next adventures because <laughs> they sure don't stop around here. I hope you enjoyed the studio tour. I guess if you have a favorite color that you think I should paint the studio, there's so much color in here already that I don't want to take away from that. So, um, and I don't want to compete. So I, color is kind of just really important in my life and I don't want to mess it up and have to paint again. But if you have a favorite color that you think it should be, let me know in the comments. I will see you guys on Sunday for Live with the, Live with the Fiber Tribe. This week I want to make sure I talk to you guys about something specific. So you might want to be there to have input and I will see you soon. Thanks. I love you. Bye.